we're going to create some uh, places where we can connect these uh, pistons to. As you may want to have these move from side to side, up and down, and yeah, you know. So, we're going to go in and make a new object. It's a box. This is going to be a foot. Not a very pretty foot, but it will work. Move it over here. Further down. We need to make it a slightly bigger too. Look like a foot. We're just gonna leave this down here for the moment. Um, now we need actually we use this one. So make it an edible poly and choose edge. That's because we want some edges on here we can work with. So choose this one, this one. Connect this one, this one. Connect and this one and this one. Connect. And actually, I need a few more. Just like more edges, you uh, just hold control down when you select them. But you should already know that. <laughs> like that. And then we need a few this way. Connect. This is probably not the brilliant way of doing it, but <laughs> smart technique. Like that. We're gonna go into polygon again. And we're gonna delete the facing of let's see. Delete that, delete that, and delete that, and delete that. Then we're gonna select that one and that one. The reason we're doing this is because I want a round thing here with a cylinder inside which we connect to this one. So you have a an angle working mechanic thing. So we're gonna do a uh, hinge from edge, edge. and uh, that's actually gonna make this thing we need, so we'll see it in a second. Whoops. Pick hinge, and select this one. And we need a 90 degrees angle. Actually, it's double, <laughs> 180. And this looks very bad, so we need more segments and I'll just do 30 probably too much but that's what I want click OK you can do the same over here hinge from edge and choose the edge oh. like that and there we go now we got this round half moon thingy click OK and I actually want this to be a little I want it to be a little taller, so I'll choose the vertex, go down from the side, like that, and then I'm going to select all the top ones here, oh, sorry, like that, and move it up, just a matter. And this probably looks a little weird, but that's how I want it. And um, I'm actually going to do something more about it. I'm going to choose. Sorry, it needs to be completely aligned here. Like that. I'm going to select these up here. I've uh, got a few vertices I don't need. That one. And that one. And then I'm going to do scale. <coughs> that and like that. This is very pretty, but um, don't work. <laughs> and now we're just gonna check that this fits into it. If not, then we're gonna scale it. Mm, looks 
looks like we would just be in it. Yeah, that's fine. But, we're not gonna do it that way, we are gonna need a cylinder inside this. And, cylinder. to rotate this 90 degrees oh well you can make it completely aligned by yourself um, gonna move it to the right position see that's wrong move it over here and down and you can see this is way 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 too small so we're going to make it bigger. We are actually going to align it to the center of this box. So, uh, so that's a little easier. I'm going to center its pivot point like that. And you can see the pivot point is right there. And we then select the box of the cylinder again use the line tool line to the foot to choose all oh sorry we need to center the pivot point of this uh, as well like that you see good and then we choose the line tool go into this all positions pivot point to pivot point click ok and then we can just move it up to where we want it so it looks fine we might mm, want a little more size on this so it uh, so the piston here doesn't lab out of it like that and then um, just gonna center it again yeah, it's already centered. Then I'm gonna choose these two. Let's see if I can uh, scale it without destroying it. <laughs> a little bigger. And uh, this looks big. <laughs> like that. I'm then gonna align this one with the line tool to the cylinder. And uh, pure point to pure point will be just fine. And as you see, we now have a foot with a hydraulic piston to it. And uh, it's very important that the pivots are uh, correctly placed. Um, we, we we need this bottom part to be down here with the pivot of the cylinder here. But uh, I'll show you that in the rigging tutorial about pistons. So. We can of course make a hinge like this uh, on the other side as well, um, if you want, of course, and then you can have this to maneuver the foot. Anyway, I hope you'll uh, like the tutorial and understand it. <laughs> this is uh, my first tutorial, so I'm not that good at it. Anyway, check back for more at 3dparadise.com.